Open Class Graph. Vamos nuevamente a abrir Class Graph. Yeah. My dear students, please don't forget your camera, guys. This. Don't forget your camera and, and we are going to continue this. Okay. So remember, in, in Class Craft, we have the, the third option that is my project. Yes, yeah, so let's connect. Yeah. Okay. So, ¿cuál es lo que, ¿qué tema nos sale ahora en News Report? Here we have history, and in this moment, I'm going to share my screen. We are going to watch this short video about COVID. So, pay attention. As America fights against coronavirus, remember for all of its flaws, we still have one of the best healthcare systems in the world. But what about the developing world? As we know, this virus continues to spread across the globe. Europe, Asia, and of course, North America have been hard hit by COVID-19. The virus is now on every continent except Antarctica. But tonight, we turn our attention to South America, specifically Ecuador, where in one city there are... Yes. So, for example, here you can start with a um, with a presentation about the how the COVID affects all the world. Nowadays, or in this month in June, the coronavirus COVID is affecting. And then, in the same new report, in this and Ecuadorian government body bags literally in the streets. Victor Kendo has a horrifying look now at what this pandemic could do to nations with less robust medical care. The images are hard to bear. In Ecuador's port city of Guayaquil, officials have been struggling to keep up with the surging number of deaths. It's a fate no one should have to succumb to. The indignity, bodies abandoned on streets, families pleading for help. As this virus spreads, it's a glimpse of what it could do in the developing world. A nightmare with no end in sight. Everywhere you look, there just aren't enough resources. The morgues are at capacity, so they place bodies inside shipping containers, stacked one on top of the other, as families try to repatriate their loved ones. Marcos Ortega went looking for his grandfather. There's no reprieve from a grim fate here. Doctors say there just aren't enough medical supplies to treat everyone. Dr. Esteban Ortiz Prado is an epidemiologist consulting the president and other high-level officials during this pandemic. And those patients that are older will die with no medical attention in hours. So if you don't give them a respirator in hours, they will die. That's why the mortality rate is so fast in Ecuador in relationship with other parts of the world, because. So as you can see, these journalists, these journalists concentrates in all the things that are happening in Ecuador. But your project is you have to talk about just one. So here we have here coronavirus pandemic exposed inequality in Ecuador's Guayaquil. When Victoria Sanchez and her mother, Eugenia Nicolás, showed up at the local public hospital in Ecuador. But what is the difference? The difference is that you have to do this in blueprint, the History COVID channel. And then here we have the introduction to your news report. Welcome to History COVID channel. In this space, you will find collection of innovative and powerful news, brands that deliver compelling, diversity, and so on. History COVID channel provides something for every news consumer with our comprehensive offerings that deliver the best breaking news. So this, this page use, choose one new from here. Mr. Paladines. A ver, listen, the Ecuador people, the Ecuador people were doing at uh, the hospital in trains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. COVID Ecuador uh, soldiers to bury the date as bodies fill up. Very good. Let's check my sanity internet. 
the people of Guayaquil in Ecuador are desperate, not only to stop the march of the coronavirus, but to bury their dead. Many have been left in the street. The authorities have been overwhelmed. So too the hospitals. My name is William Merchan, the son of Leon Merchan, who is deceased. I've been here eight days. I have the order of removal, but even so, they don't want to give me the body. This is the cue for those trying to get their relatives into the local cemetery. Ecuador's president, Lenin Moreno, says his government, criticized for acting late, is now moving. We are creating a special camp for the dead. We believe there will be between 2,500 to 3,500. And that projected estimate is just for Guaya's province, where Guayaquil is situated. It's higher than the current death toll for all of Latin America. Refrigerated containers have been brought in to store the bodies, and the government task force is picking up more. In the past three days, the joint workforce went from taking away 30 deceased per day to 150. But a city that's already overwhelmed knows that it only faces more cases and more deaths. John Holman, Al Jazeera. And how many times? Very good. One minute exaggerated, one minute 20 seconds. That's all for this class uh, because uh, I know that you have a lot of projects, I know that you have a lot of things, I know that you have a lot of theoretical framework. Um, uh, I, I am sure that you will create a good English project. You don't have homework for this. On Wednesday in grammar, we will check how can we create the the news report. So in grammar, I'm going to teach you what is the news report and how you are going to create the news report. Yes, because it has a headline, topic, who, quién, as what, when, where, why, and how. Guys, take care. Goodbye.